Hello people, here's the instruction manual for the Wonderway 2. Have a good look at this, there's some important measurements on here which need to be right. Here's Jay from Eco Wagon using some masking tape and tape measure to get his alignments correct. Take your time over this because the, um, the landing zones for where you put the frame tape, which Jay's just about to do, uh, and they're in a critical place. And that frame tape, that translucent material is the only thing between the bike rack and your lovely paint. So this job is um, to be done nice and carefully. And get rid of the air bubbles. Air bubbles are not good under the grippers. Once you've done that, have another look because you're going to need to mount the thing and do the torquing sequence. You can see it's just under 13 kilos. It's very light considering the bulk of it. Here again, take your time to get the alignment correct. Make sure that everything's perfectly centered on the frame tape. And then you do your torquing sequence um, to six Newton meters. That gadget there is provided by Tula, which is genius. Um, there's just no guesswork involved. And every 10,000 kilometers, you can just give it a tweak. So you're just doing a final inspection to make sure that the straps and ratchets are where they're supposed to be. If you haven't got a California, you'll have to uprate your gas struts on the tailgate. Simple job. Uh, taking it from the 985 newton meter struts to the modified 1200 newton meters. It's a quick job but essential otherwise your tailgate won't stay up. Now a very good time to familiarize yourself with the straps and latches. Jay's using an e-bike here. Uh, the bikes, um, the van's on a bit of an incline which makes it slightly difficult to mount. It's probably not a good idea to do it on an incline because you have to stretch it that little bit higher. But saying that, Jay makes light work of it. On the way to this location, I was quite keen to listen out to see if the rack would make any squeaks or groans, which it didn't. The only evidence of the rack being on the van at all was, uh, as Jay said, through the rear vision mirror. It was absolutely silent. There was no squeaks from the bikes, nothing. So that rack there can hold four bikes at a maximum of 60 kilos. Uh, it's called the Wonderway 2 because it comes with the two, but uh, you can be the Wonderway 4 if you get the extra two carriers. So that 60 kilos, that's a, that's a lot of weight. That's three bags of sand. That shows that Tula's engineers have done their job well and truly properly. I was mightily impressed by this rack. Not only does it look great, it's uh, it's it's a it's a muscle bound freak really, it's just it's, it's over engineered beautifully, and that's how I like things. Well, that's it for now. I'm going to leave you with some of the highlights of the fitting, just in stills. Highly recommend Eco Wagon for absolutely any aspect of van work. Full conversion down to fitting a bike rack. Great team of professionals there. Really, really friendly and huge attention to detail. I've never seen such attention to detail in a workforce. Very good.